Uh, this is gonna be another exciting one where we're gonna start with a photo. Cool. Okay, we'll go from there. You already know that. I got a rock. Um, okay. Is that an NFT that sold for like 40 million or something? Oh my oh. god, <laughs> it is, isn't it? I bet you it's some It's a shit rock like NFT. That. It is an NFT. Oh. How much is it valued at? 20 grand? Ooh, 30,000. 30, 3 million. 300,000? Higher than that, lower than that. Wait, higher than a board date? 500,000. 3 mil. 800,000? 1 mil. What? Wow. One That's like a meat? What does it do? It's what a non fungible dude. asshole. No, it does, <laughs> okay. it does matter. We'll but, this, it. but this is the tweet that just went out with it. How's your week? By at dino underscore dealer. <clears throat> How's your week? Mine? I just erroneously listed at Ether Rock number 44 for 444 way instead of 444 ETH. Bot sniped it in the same block and trying to flip for 234 ETH. In one click, my entire net worth of $1 million gone. Is there any hope? Am I gonna make it? Oh, Can no. Sniper show oh, mercy? So he, he mistakenly it. paid that much? No, he mistakenly it. listed it yeah. for less. For right? a totally different currency than Ether. There's apparently a high demand for these already. Yeah. It's like what happened with the board ape recently. Remember, did you hear yeah, about that? I Guy sold it for like 15 bucks and yeah. it, it was it was worth like So he listed deep. it for the wrong token. Currency there. Yeah. Oh. So so way 444 way is literally 0. 0.00 is like 2 cents. Oh. It's nothing in a box. Why did he list it? Was he drunk? What was he, he was doing? trying to list it for 444 ether. Yeah. Oh. I think he just mistaken. So bot, I think he was drinking. A bot Maybe. that was programmed to buy stuff when they're undervalued just bought it before he could react. You don't interact with something that expensive without a clear head. Like like you know what I mean? Mm. Something's going on. So there's a lot of people that make yes. mistakes. But not <laughs> 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 Listen. <laughs> what do you mean, Joe? Not me. <laughs> me? Yeah. I'm Mr. Man's Risk. He's talking about himself. <laughs> what did you do? I'm t I'm talking about the Bitcoin guy that fucking what did you do? he has a lot in the in a dump dump site oh, and he's no. trying to look for his Bitcoin. Oh, oh, that actually yeah. makes more sense. That makes, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Because it didn't cost him anything to do it. So he's not like remembering how much it took to, to get yeah. there. What made this one worth a million dollars? I don't think, I, I think a answering that question is the conundrum of life. It's like impossible. I mean, did someone previously, did he buy it from someone else? Why are, why is there a midnight line for Jordans? It's just sneakers. You People know what I mean? love those like, colorways. You could dude. simplify everything if you want to, but for some reason, there's a group of people who are willing to pay whatever for, yeah, I mean, for whatever. The scarcity. You yeah. could say that about like fine art, modern art. I mean, just but the whole this, art industry. Like a, to me, it's the same. But as, as, but as far yeah. as yeah. this, it is. But as, but as far as like the NFT marketplace, yeah, like, like what what's the, what's the significance of this one in? This is it is it the people behind it? People talking it, about it. It could be connected to some kind of DAO. You can get into some sort, certain Discord group or club or, or physical club. Mm, like, so this is like a one off or something. Or it just is what it is. Yeah. Well, it's just it could be just the first. First of its kind, where it's like the pet rock, but it's like this. Yeah, remember there was a pet rock craze. Yeah. yeah. Like what just... the fuck? When when I tell people sure. your financial system is being replicated <laughs> on the blockchain, I mean all of it. Right. Like stuff like this, like the pet rock, just all the stupid yeah. shit. Yeah. Realm. That's it. It's already here. We already do it all the time. Everybody. It's not like your grandparents aren't like, why the fuck are people spending money on this? Like like already they already are, but now they're asking the questions about blockchain too. Mm. It's the same shit. Yeah. It is the same shit. So again, uh, the blunder meant that this actually sold to a bot for 444 way, which is worth about 0 0.0012 cents. Oh, yeah. Sharing the disp uh, despair online, the collector wrote exactly what I said earlier. How's your week, mine? I just erroneously listed Ether Rock for 444 way instead of 444 yeah. ETH. Bot sniped it, it in the same block. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I wonder what they got it for. Um, yeah. More than fucking 12 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Less than, I mean, that was point zero zero one two. Oh, Somebody okay. was just sitting there fucking F5-ing that page, waiting <laughs> to buy some shit. Or they just got completely lucky. There's yeah. NFT bots that just cop things if it's a... There's right? bots in general that, that do those things, you know what I mean? The second anything gets listed at some sort of like... Uh, Shoe bots or whatever. Phenomenal price, yeah, somebody's already scooping. Or flash crashes. Is like there scoop by blocks? Is there like an NFT for you guys that are playing around with NFTs that you're like you got your eye on and you're like, dude, I, I have that over number. I have over 150 of them. It's just lottery tickets for me because I am using a still underutilized blockchain called Terra, right? So like, it's number two total value locked in all of crypto. It's in NFT space. It's not even close to that. So like for me, I'm like, well, there's that much visibility now, especially with Doquan buying all this Bitcoin. So why won't I hold all these lottery tickets? So that's what I've been doing, but 
At this point in the run, I'm not buying NFTs. I'm just holding as much Luna as possible. However, um, the ones that I've gotten into, it's really just about making sure that it has something going for it where it's not gonna just go away overnight. Like there's not, somebody gonna pull all the liquidity out or, um, there's a lot of things that can happen with NFTs. It's still so early. I don't know enough about NFTs yeah. to sit here and. 99% of NFT projects pretty much are rug pulls though. No, rug that's pulls, why here. Absolutely. Is, rug pulls isn't necessarily the same as like uh, conniving, intentional, once everybody buys this, we're gonna run. Yeah. Rug pulls is, uh, is also kind of categorized as like a, hey, this is uh that's my JPEG. I'm not promising anything, yeah. and then everybody's paying a bunch of money, thinking yeah, right. that there's some sort of speculative concept that is going to bring them such overbearing profits in a near distant future. But then when the people who made it are just like, cool, now I'm rich. I'm not doing anything else. Yeah, and they lose interest. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then that's not really that. a rug pull. That's just like well, an that's, overvalued. That's still that. categorized because nobody understands the speculative nature of mm. things like NFTs. Crypto is already speculative so much because you only have like two, three, four blue chip concepts that aren't even like fully understood as blue chip. Right? Everything else is considered speculative because ninety nine percent of people don't fucking do any research anyway. Yeah, and then. NFTs are even more volatile, right? So it's even like 2x to 10x speculative in concept because at the end of the day, a PFP, no matter what the fuck it's anyone a profile says, pick, yeah. is a JPEG. Yeah. No matter yeah. how much you spend on it, no matter how fucking sick the company behind it is, if the, the NFT doesn't represent something like stock interest, if it's not an actual percentage investment of the company, if you don't own shares by owning it, then you are technically still owning a fucking JPEG. And let's be realistic about it, right? Like. The most realistic we could be. Anybody who buys an NFT, like 99.9% .9 of them, can't wait to fucking sell it for way more than it's worth, right? That's, that's, the, that's game. the game. That's, that's the, the whole game. game. Yeah. So, so because of that, all you're doing is buying lottery tickets. So for me, I have 155 lottery tickets, and they, I spent varying degrees of whatever the fuck on them. Wherever you're willing to spend. Nowhere near 5% of my stack. That's the whole thing. Measure risk. Uh, involve yourself, uh, like definitely you, you can involve yourself in different projects, but just measure risk the whole fucking time. Don't be stupid, don't leverage trade anything ever, and don't put your, don't open yourself up to any kind of risk that you're not willing to, uh, to lose at any point, because it could just immediately go away if you're gonna do that. When you're looking for a specific, <laughs> when you're looking for a specific NFT, like what are those qualities that, I know it's random and it's really speculative, is there any qualities at all that you were like, Oh, I'm I'm getting this one because of X, Y, and Z. Honestly, I don't know enough about it yet to mm. know. So, so like, like, uh, look, I've been in crypto for almost ten years. I know way more about crypto as a whole. NFTs are so new, I can't claim to know because I haven't been through NFT cycles yet. I don't Still less know. than a year old of how it That's gained true. traction. I'm not going to sit here and tell anybody anything about NFTs other than I like the tech behind NFTs. That true ownership is is able to be seen on the blockchain by everybody. Everybody knows exactly who truly owns something. If they own that NFT, they truly own it. I like that, right? But, and and the, as far as the tech behind it, you can use it for medical records, you can use it all, for all kinds of real world use cases that will matter at some point in the future. It's really not ready, it's too early probably for any of that to be integrated. So we're talking about like, right now it's kind of the dot com bubble for NFTs. <coughs> it's, that's where we're at, we're like mid 90s. I can see NFTs being like the digital like document of a deed or something for a home yep. or like yeah. yep. used in, in that but but I know that like um there's another way that NFTs are being used and it's the and it's in the form of like a pawn shop so like let's say mm -hmm. if I have a Rolex that I want to loan on right I could put it into the NFT space and there's already sites out there where you can basically get money on that Rolex and then if it's you, collateral yeah as collateral and then you have to ship it in or sell it you know and then you get the NFT plus the actual physical Rolex that's cool yeah or in the marketplace like you mm -hmm. can put up the NFT and then you know people buy that Rolex from you then you ship the Rolex over and you get the NFT as well yep yeah and i have a couple it's hoodies future. coming to me that i bought their NFTs and then if you held the NFT by a certain point they snapshot it they snapshot the address of everybody holding it they ship them to your actual physical address once you input it I don't know that that will be worth anything. I don't fucking know. I'm just, there's a project called Unisox that I have a buddy who bought. They're worth $120,000. They're an NFT where if you hold the NFT, they send you the physical socks. They're just Unisox, like, like, like Uniswap with Uniswap shit on them. <laughs> And they're, yeah, they're worth like six figures because of a gimmick and you just don't know. So it's all lottery tickets. You just don't know which ones are gonna pan out, which ones won't. That's why it's like the dot-com bubble. It's like Amazon made it, 
Yahoo made it, a couple of them made it, everyone else wiped out. You never heard from them again. And everyone thought AOL was gonna make it because they had Time oh Warner. God, yeah. They were the biggest yeah. boys. Yeah. They got bought by Time Warner and got wiped out of existence. Same shit. So you just don't know. So it's just too early for me to sit here and go, oh, I know about it. These tell you this, bud. No, it's just about <laughs> looking for edges in the market. Always yeah. look for edges, right? So what's my edge right now? Terra's number two blockchain, all of crypto. I've been wearing this hat since it wasn't even close to that. So like, you know, what else? Daddy Luna. Yeah, what else is going on with That's that? That's a new hat. This, Daddy this, Luna. Well, yeah, you're right. The gray one, but yeah. Um, but Fine. so what else, What other edges am I looking for, right? In the NFT space, uh, Terra's not even close to being number two. So like, maybe it'll work out that way. Maybe it won't. Who I cares? Think it will. Yeah, but it maybe it will, I hope it does. But either way, I'm not even spending 5% of my stack on it. So it's, I'm measuring risk the whole fucking time. If you're not measuring risk, you're exposing yourself to so many L's I can't even begin to tell you. Please just try to try to be careful about this. Stuff. There is also something though to the um, the understanding of the culture, especially it's very apparent in the speculative NFT space though that like what is the value of something, and the value should not necessarily be measured on like what it is or the utility, but actually what the demand is. People people oftentimes don't understand the relativity and the correlation between why is that thing so valuable. Well, motherfuckers, because the demand is there. Exactly. It doesn't yeah. have to make sense. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's like, why is a Banksy so valuable when at the end of the day, it's like a stencil on the side of a wall, but yeah. the second he puts something on the fucking wall, Everybody that's like a $1.2 million wall. And you're yeah. like, uh, no, that's a graffiti on the wall, but we love it because there's a culture value to it because there's a demand, but it's not because that graffiti is 10X more u utilization power over you know, this fucking space, whatever the fuck that's on the wall. The DeLorean yeah. is a car that's largely seen as a failure. If you watch the documentary about it, it's fucking amazing. But there's such a demand for it that they're bringing it back now. And, and like they've already been manufacturing them from a plant in Texas, but now they're actually bringing it back, doing like a completely um, electric DeLorean because there's <laughs> such demand for this shit. That's sweet. Nobody that's buys it. them still. <laughs> 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 they, make, they make new factory builds for like 60 K, you can just get a brand new one what? made. Yeah. They've offered that for like 20 years. Nobody Is the buys company still there. around? Yeah. The got, it got People bought only by, buy the old ones? The company got bought by this other Stephen Wynn, like as a but, different one. But you see them. You see them everywhere. I see DeLoreans it's everywhere. It's the only old ones? Well, only the old ones, yeah. The, the exactly. new builds, nobody buys them because they're 60 something thousand. And you could get a, like, when I got mine, I got paid 15K. Wow. I didn't have to really do much yeah. to it other than make it sparklier. Yeah, it's, so it's like it's not worth sixty. Though. Anybody who it's already knows DeLoreans and loves them doesn't want a new one anyway. They want the mm. freaking OG one. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if people are gonna buy the electric one. They've been announcing that electric one for over a decade, yeah. and I. But it's close. Yeah, that's what they say. If they're really gonna come out with it. But the, but that's the key, right? So so there's always demand for something, even if you think it's not interesting. There's somebody out there who might want it, and if yeah. it's scarce enough, hello, board apes, right? Like all this shit. It's just for real. you could try Any to be, market. You could try market. to be better than it, yeah. But yeah. but just about understanding the market reality sometimes just knowing that you're not smarter yeah. than the market the market's smarter than you acquiesce to it accept it embrace it love it and then try to figure out what your edge is inside of it no that's how you, you made so many millionaires dude it's hey, great advice look dude that's that's how i win honestly i measure risk non-stop I, and i don't want to expose myself ever except for to my wife <laughs>